This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. And I'm Shannon Morse. It's your weekly dose of Technolust. And we have an epic show for you this week. Yes, we sure do. As you guys may recall, back at Maker Faire, we ran into our friend Ben Heck. Yeah, where you promptly challenged him to a case mod competition. Right. Like, in my case, that's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. So the competition is to be judged by you guys, the viewers, at revision3.com. And, of course, that means that we want your vote. And hopefully we'll win because our mod's better. Actually, it is. And it began anew. Now I know what you're thinking, that's not a case mod, that's a girl. And you're right, it is a girl wearing a case mod. You see, your typical computer case, it's just an ugly box that you can't wear. I mean, maybe it's got these handles here for easier carrying, or, or maybe you got a nice window so you can peer inside and see all the fiddly bits. But ultimately, it's not gonna win any beauty awards. This guy will. I walk through the street and as my royal east tread upon the concrete The soul of the city rises up through my feet Percolating through the pavement like an unseen force Yo, this traffic jam is my creative source Cut What's more you won't find on other case mods? A lead acid battery pack Liquid cooling system Bose 4G wireless dongle Pink adjustable straps 15 antennas, 14 for Wi-Fi radios in monitor mode, and a single Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark III development board. Or even a plushy kitten face. And while your typical LAN party case mod rig will house two or more extreme graphics cards for playing games, our system's integrated graphics card, coupled with the latest Backtrack Linux, can deliver more fun than a 3D first-person shooter, all from the command line. With all this kit, it's no wonder this is the ultimate in luxury hacking apparel. And if wearing Miss Kitty doesn't suit your fancy, it'll even roll on wheels. This should come as no surprise to any hacker out there. There are 14 wireless radios here. There are 14 channels on the Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. If you haven't been with us for quite a while, here's how it basically works. When you put your card into monitor mode, that basically means that it's sniffing up all those good packets in the air, eavesdropping on emails and instant messages. It typically does what's called channel hopping. A single card will listen on channel 1, then 2, then 3, and if something interesting happens on channel 7 when you're on channel 2, you're just not going to see it. And with 11 channels legally in the United States, you only have a 0.09% chance of seeing everything. Sniffing interesting packets. That's why we have 14 here. 11 for the US, two more for Europe, and the 14th for Japan. All right, this is it. I've always wanted to try this, booting a computer off of a battery. I mean, it makes perfect sense. This is a DC to DC power adapter, and uh, basically you just, you know, you typically get one of these big bricks here, one of these wall warts, and all this is doing is converting your uh, your AC power that you get from the wall here into uh, DC power, and this is what you would use if you wanted to, say, run your, uh, run like a car computer off your battery in your car or whatever, so same principle, this is just a 12 volt battery, um, let's plug it in and see if it works. And then 
just like any other uh, computer, you want to start it with uh, the biggest knife you have uh, by bridging the connections here. And spinning. Thirty-two gig solid state drive, not a whole lot. Just need to run an operating system. Two gigs of RAM. What's cute about this RAM is it's Patriot, so it's got an actual, uh, you know, American flag on there. <laughs> That's good stuff. Two gigs. Um, otherwise, the reason for selecting this motherboard is because while it meets the requirements of being a full ATX case for this mod, we have uh, we have six USB on the side here as well as the ability to, with these guys here, add another 8 USB for a total of 14 USBs. And what could we do with 14 USBs? 14 USB wireless radios? Hey, it just so happens there's only 14 channels of wireless spectrum. Hmm, I think there's some sniffing in our future. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. How does it all work? And quite simply, really. Once you have the rig strapped to your trendy hacker girl like an expensive Tokidoki purse, you go and send her off into an urban environment to glean interesting packets from the public. As soon as the battery is connected to the DC to DC power supply, the BIOS will kick on and begin booting Backtrack. Of course, our scripts will go ahead and log into GNOME automatically where, with the help of Sockus 3G and USB mode switch, a 4G connection is made back to the T-Mobile network. Meanwhile, the Wi-Fi pineapple is being provided power over USB and connects by Ethernet back to the computer to share out the internet connection. Any connected clients will be sniffed. We could have actually opted for a 16th antenna running Airdrop NG to automatically deauthorize every client that isn't connected to our pineapple and encourage them to connect to us, but we opted for a more passive attack. Another script will power up all 14 radios set them into monitor mode, and begin capturing all the packets on all the channels with AeroDump NG. Now, if this all sounds complicated and expensive, that's because it is. If I was going to do this again, I'd be using a, a Nano ITX motherboard with like an Atom processor, not, not some ridiculous full ATX motherboard and water cooling system, power hungry beast. But alas, the conditions of the Ben Heck case mod challenge were $200 full ATX. And while the 4G modems and, and the 14 USB wireless radios and the pineapples and the water cooling system, everything else was damn near grand at the end of the day, it is actually a full ATX case. And the backpack slash purse slash book bag came out to a whopping $117.40. In fact, the couple in Chinatown that sold it to me were so excited to be selling the knockoff Sanrio that they even threw in a free pen. We've got 15 wireless radios and a free pen. Where's your pen, Ben? Where's your pen? You know, Darren, you didn't use all of the USB radios. No, actually, we have hundreds. And had I, that would have been crazy for the power requirements. However, yes, it would. Um, yeah, that's the one that everybody's always asking the Realtek 8187 they to use on Hack Tip. And just wanted to point out that they are in the hack shop now, and they're sexy in these all new, completely black cases. Yeah, I do they're like gorgeous. those. Yeah, no Mubix, stickers. Mubix agrees. Pretty. No stickers. They're pretty. They're beautiful. Yes. All right. Anyway, I know that you guys are going to be curious about you know the software and the whole setup, so we're going to be diving into a lot more of that here on Hack Five and on Hack Tip. But for now, we need you to get out there and vote. So go team Hack Five. Yes. Team Hack Five. Woo! Yay! Yeah. Oh, yay. Anyway, <laughs> you know who else's team's awesome? Dale Chases. He's going to be back here what? with a little Hacker Headline remix. Like that, y'all. Like that. <laughs> like that. That, 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 okay. that, y'all. Oh, sorry. And later, I'm going to be booting off a virtual machine off physical drives with the Plop bootloader. Ooh. All right. I'll stick around for that. We'll be back after a quick break. Now, it needs to be something more like... Straightforward, like usbrubberducky.com. No, no, it should be more hardcore, like like tacticalassaultducks.com. I'm leaning towards programmablehumaninterfacedevice.com. No, no way. Absolutely not. Is that you typing? Kirby. Kirby. Meow. No matter what your project is, Domain.com has what you need to register, host, and promote your next big idea. 
even if it's fuguguh.com. Domain.com is owning the competition with cheap domain names and hassle-free service. Their easy checkout process and domain discovery system make it easy to select the domain that's right for you and set up your website without hassle. Domain.com will even transfer your domain name from another registrar and hook you up with an extra year for free for a mere well, it's actually less than $6.50 when you use the coupon code HAK5 at checkout. That's right. Our coupon code HAK5 will save you 15%. Don't forget, when you think domain names, think domain.com. Happy 20th birthday to Linux, the open source OS patterned after Minix. The first build only ran in 386. Now it powers everything so ubiquitous. Iranians ran into warnings from Chrome, saying Google certificate was not its own. It was spoofed with a goof up a digital tour. Supposed to authenticate this now the blacklisted. Cross site scripting, vulnerability found on MSN.com. Check the cookie. Last week, one level found a similar thing. Running arbitrary code or maps from Bing. U.S. District Judge Rules, spied on Ohio couple can sue, absolute. Laptop low jack code, took sexy screenshots, gave him 250, oh no. News and drum fills, peace to Ars Technica and Eleanor Mills, yeah. One time for your mind, I'm Del Chase, those are your hacker headlines. Like that y'all, like that y'all, like that, like that. Back to you guys.